like, and I appreciate that when you read it, you thought about like my end goal, because I think it's, it's true that if I do these like 40 or 50 breakups that every conference or whatever, theoretically, I could always speak about something different, Bingo. but say the same thing, like my you three got things. It. Yeah. And so, all, every blog post you write, all these things, like that's the tool is I think you have it as these little pieces. You've, you've yeah. already written it that way. It's just easy to do. Add a little bit of takeaway step and it just break your book back apart. Yeah. And again, I think the fact that you combined it also helps you combine some elements that should stay together. There's some mm -hmm. things that should. And now I think come up with a little bit of a structure to each one and then just go through and do it. And, and this will be great. Something you mentioned was, uh, was that the stories stand well alone. Mm -hmm. So did you want me to not put them the way I already did, where I broke it into pieces and put them into sections? Yeah, like, so, so I'll, give you, yeah, I'll give you my broad feedback. I think that, so I think number one, um, I like these sort of punchy small pieces that you seem to like structure. I think that you wrote in that way and it, it mm -hmm. played well. I think though you need to basically make this uh, all that. And I, I think that it felt at times where you were like forcing two things together that could be independent. Mm -hmm. So I think what I would rather you have is like 40 to 50 sort of nuggets that are small mini sort of mini chapter type things. Hello, um, my name is Antonia Liu and I'm the author of Hack College Like an Entrepreneur, 40 Surprising Insights from the World's Top Funders. This book here, this is Antonia Liu's Hat College like, a, like an Entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. um, it basically reminded me a little bit of what yours was done, but basically what it, what it has is it has, I'll show you her table of contents. Uh, so it has like 40, 40 smaller, smaller angle chapters. Mm -hmm. Like there are all these little things. I think you have sort of, you have sort of the same. And what's interesting then is I, what I like about it is she basically structures this sort of chapter in here about how to hack this book, right? So like, I think with yours is sort of similar. There's yeah. just a whole bunch of really great stories and nuggets, but mm -hmm. I think that like, it felt like it started to, it started to, I actually found myself reading these chunks independently rather than trying to see how they fit together. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think that it's, it'd be better for you to go through and take the book apart, right? Almost mm -hmm. in like, take every one of these, they don't have to be like one st story only. They could be like, you know, there was sort of some places where you had quotes and like mini stories. You could break them up how you feel. But mm -hmm. I think that you have 40 wisdom, you know, insight wisdom pieces mm -hmm. that fit under these, these four buckets, right, of, of your four Ps. Okay. So I think you keep that as your sort of top level structure, the four Ps, mm -hmm. and you break out, you know, maybe you have 10 chapters under each. Or Just take out the ones that don't fit and make them like their own point. Yeah, I think, I mean, yeah. I think almost all the chapters you wrote, like I think I, I gave you a sample, like there was like mm -hmm. five, I think you have five insight pieces that could be mini chapters in your first chapter. One thing I'll ask though is, is it okay to keep some of them like having multiple? Oh yeah, yeah. You okay. Keep them however you want. I mean, I, I would say it this way. You should write them to be the way you want them to fit together. Mm -hmm. If they do fit but together. But just don't awesome. force anything. Yeah, just, it just felt like there was ones that were independent yeah. pieces that mm -hmm. were like put together and you were like, ah, I think these sort of go together. Yeah. And, and I think what I, what I think why, what will make your, and so here's the reason I think it would be better for you to have like, you know, 50, 50 insights, you know, as opposed to like calling it just a book, like breaking these 50 insights is I think that your readership is going to like that. And I mm -hmm. think when you go out and speak and talk and write, it's gonna lend itself really well. So mm -hmm. like, I think what you will wanna say is like, you know, this is, you know, this piece of advice, I'm gonna give you three key, uh, three of the key insights from my 50 insights in this mm -hmm. talk or the speech. And yeah. so I, that's what I was sort of seeing about is like, you wanna start at the high level, which is the, you know, push people power purpose, right? Like mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But yeah. I wanna break this down a little bit here. Let me give you three takeaways today and uh, three of the key of my 50 insights. There's a whole yeah. bunch of things. But these like are one things. from push, one from whatever. And yeah, then, they, they yeah. can be whatever it is. But I was, as, I was, as I was reading the book, I thought a lot about what your goal was. And your mm -hmm. goal, I think, is to sort of be able to speak and write and elevate yourself. And yeah. so I think to do that, you want to sort of make this easier for your reader. And so yeah. I think that's, anyway, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't bad what you did at all. It was fine. Yeah. But it just felt like, is when I pulled them apart, I was like, they, I, I felt like I could read it in a, in a sort of a way. I like the idea of like people flipping around the book because I think that those books like are easy to pick off a bookshelf exactly. and like understand. And you've, you've probably opened Milk and Honey before, right? Of course. Um, yep. You know how like the main sections are like a black page. Yep. So like 
you know when the poems for like part one end. Yep. So I think that I liked that because I could skip to like the third phase, but then if I wanted to be in a phase, I could go back. So yep. um, maybe structuring it in that way and then not connecting the little sections, just letting them stand alone so that they're like bite size and easy to indigest. And, and that way people don't have to read like very heavy stories and analysis. Like it's going to be um, yep. a lot. I, I like, I like this more. I think yeah. it, it makes more sense for, for the readers. What I think is kind of interesting. And again, I, I encouraged Antonia to do this when she was writing it is this like how to hack this book, mm-hmm. right? Like she, what, and what she wrote, which I think is fun is like, and I remember reading her book and being like, I, you got to kind of like, we got to structure this a little differently. So she wrote, treat this book like a buffet. Below are some suggestions to help you get the most out of it. Identify what you want out of this book, having clear outcomes, you know, and then, you know, so she wrote like, use this as structure as only a guide, skip liberally, take action, right? So she has this like fun way to do it. Yeah, I think it's great. And so it's a fun, you know, I mean. Is that really recent? It just came out like in December. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I think um, you can get it on Amazon for 99 cents if you want to see it, like just download yeah, it on there. I it's might, really yeah. easy to do. And I think it just, it, again, your book is very different. Mm-hmm. But also, I think that you and her, you would like her. She has sort of similar aims. She sort of wants to elevate her brand. Her yeah. book has been featured in Inc. Magazine already. So like she has a lot of those like really good elements. Mm-hmm. It's really like tactical and bite-sized, which is yours is as well, and has a lot of like quotes and sort of anecdotes and things mm-hmm. like that. So it fits within that structure and I think your readership would appreciate it. Okay. 